Read Luke 24, 27, and then tell me it's Old Testament. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in the earth, even in him. Verse 11, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined, predestined, predestinated <laughs> according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. We sing a song back in the church, I hear the Holy Spirit, Jesus is going to work it out. Jesus is going to work it out. This problem that I had, I had. It's already worked out. When, when, when people, like I said, there's no, there's, no, there's no problems. There's just answers that have not been discovered. You have to look at it the way Jesus talked about. He said, look, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. We have, that's the inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things. Everything is working together for our good. After the counsel of his own will, verse 12, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. Verse 13, in whom... Ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. It's in the word. The gospel of your salvation, whom also after you that you believed. After that ye have believed. After you have to believe first. He that believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting Whosoever believe in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. It seals you with the Holy Spirit of promise. 14 finally, which is the earnest of our inheritance. That's the earnest. When you reject Pentecost, the Holy Ghost evidenced by speaking in unknown tongues, it says, which is the earnest, earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Holy Spirit of Promise. My, one of my favorite singles, Derek Coley, who's passed on, had a song he promised me. You know, we can't allow our walk with the Lord be about material stuff as, as much as we do. We can't let it be about that. We can't frustrate our faith. I credit Rick D. He had a song. said, I'm not going to frustrate my faith because my phone bill is late. And I've always brought that back to my remembrance when, when I get bills or any kind of people bring stuff to me. I'm not going to frustrate my faith because of these worldly things that's going on. I don't care what's going on in the news. And you get these lukewarm people without the Holy Ghost saying, you, God uses all that. You need to know what's going on. I need to know Jesus. That's what I need to know. As long as I got King Jesus. <laughs> they don't like for it to be that simple. They want to complicate your walk. They want to complicate your talk. They want to get you bound up like they bound up, worried about everything. How they going to rob a Peter to pay Paul? A bigger house, a newer car. They, they want to keep you bound up like, don't do it. Don't do it. The greatest inheritance and promise that God gave us, obviously, which he just said, you know, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. He paid for it. It's free. Don't let this world bind you up. That's what I hear. As we prepare for Pentecost. Don't let this world bind you up. We're a peculiar people. Chosen. Priesthood. Royal priesthood. Not just royal. Royalty. We got something that cannot be purchased with all the gold, all the silver. It's so precious. We have it. We have access to it. And the only way you can understand what you truly have is if you abide by reading the Bible speaking, praying in tongues, your holy tongues, to him, because if you're doing it outwardly, you need to be in our interpretation, or else it's only edifying yourself. But but I, learn about the feast, Leviticus chapter 23. No, first read Luke 24, 27, and then go read Leviticus 23, and then start understanding the feast of the Lord, Passover, Pentecost, Sukkot. Get closer to Jesus. And these days and times we're living in, you know, I hear people talking about the murders and the killings and and the kids and and, 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 and the choices people are making concerning their gender and sexuality. I don't need to hear about all that. 
That has nothing to do with Jesus. The problem is not Jesus. Trust me. He overcame all that stuff already. And I can show you, 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 you bring me the problem, and I will show you in Scripture how he overcame that thing, and you ain't got no business even. You should be stepping on it. You should be walking on it, living in victory. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard. We thank you that you promised us and assured us that we are overcomers. Overcomers, meaning we are over everything. Now, I understand why children freak out and they go crazy because they don't know you the way we do. As adults, we ain't got no excuse. We, those that have been walking with you, near you, around you all these years should not be moved. Like we used to sing, I shall not, I shall not be moved. Like a tree planted by the waters, I shall. We should not be moved. Not by what our eyes see, and our ears hear, rumors, all, we shouldn't. Only time believers are moved and born again people are moved is when they have not spent time with you, Jesus. Because you let us know you're that cornerstone. You're that rock. And it cannot be moved. We thank you for this opportunity to come before you on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, and YouTube for playback. Thank and praise you, Father God, for all the wonderful things you're doing you're allowing us to experience in this lifetime. Material things are not important to you, but you know they're important to us as humans to have to do the things that we think we need. So I thank and praise you for the things that you've given us, the things you've allowed us to experience. I know there's better, I know there's greater, because there's a greater glory. Uh, Lord Jesus, continue to have your will and your way. Lead us, guide us, direct us. And everything we should do, will and say, in Jesus Christ's name we pray always. God bless you. May heaven's face continue and always smile upon you.